Hello and welcome back to Art Bites. Today we're going to be looking at shape. Shape is one of the seven visual elements. Last week we were looking at line, the first of the visual elements. Shape can be described as a two-dimensional area that is created when the ends of lines are joined together to create a closed area. Shapes can play important roles in the creation of art. They help to create complex drawings and paintings, affect composition, and contribute to the balance within a work. All shapes fall into one of two categories, organic or geometric. Organic shapes are shapes that are found in nature. Organic shapes generally do not have their own name and are instead described by what they look like. For example, a flower or a leaf. Organic shapes are irregular and imperfect. Naturally, these shapes will all be slightly different from one another. They're often curved and flowing and can seem unpredictable. Geometric shapes or regular shapes are easy to recognize. You can use maths to find information about these shapes, and these shapes generally have specific name associated with them, such as a square. Geometric shapes tend to follow mathematical rules. So for example, a square, all the sides will be all the same length. So circles are a bit of an exception in the world of shapes. So circles can be defined mathematically, so they're defined by the number pi. However, unlike most geometric shapes, which have sharp straight edges, circles have curved edges. Geometric shapes do not have to be these regular shapes like circles and squares. They can also be quite complex shapes that we can't always quite put a name to. So long as they've got those sharp straight edges and those sharp points at the corners, that will be a geometric shape. Positive shapes are the shapes of actual objects. They're solid shapes. Negative shapes, on the other hand, are the space around or between objects. So negative shapes can often appear almost like a, a hole or a gap between something. The relationship between positive and negative shapes helps the brain of the viewer, the person looking at an artwork, understand what they are seeing. Our brains are even capable of making sense of quite complex relationships between these positive and negative shapes. Implied shapes. So implied shapes are quite an interesting group. Implied shapes are shapes that are made up by other things. So shapes in art do not actually have to always be a closed space. So for example, this square is made up with lots of diagonal lines. This next one is gonna be made up of lots of vertical lines. So you can focus to get your straight lines. If you focus on the very tip of your pen, or your pencil right here, you will be able to get these really, really straight lines as you're working. So implied shapes are shapes that are created through something else. And that there is an implication that they are there, but they are not actually fully there. So we can see the edges of these two squares are quite clearly here, but I have not actually drawn a square. So that concludes our episode on shape. Remember we had our organic and our geometric shapes, we then had positive and negative, and we finally we had our implied shapes. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you'll join us for our video next week, which is gonna be on form.